Do you recognize this intersection? Roundabouts like the one shown here are becoming very popular throughout Florida and the United States. For many residents, however, a roundabout is a new concept. As a new driver, it is necessary to understand how this traffic pattern works and how to navigate it. So, what exactly is a roundabout? A roundabout is a circular intersection that is safer and more efficient than traditional intersections. Motorists travel one way in a counterclockwise direction around a center island and through the roundabout. Unlike traditional intersections, a roundabout uses signs rather than traffic signals to guide motorists to their destination. Roundabouts are designed for slower speeds between 15 and 25 miles per hour, which makes them a safer intersection to navigate. A roundabout is designed to accommodate all kinds of users, passenger cars, motorcycles, emergency vehicles, recreational vehicles, and tractor trailers. Even pedestrians and bicyclists use roundabouts. A roundabout has accessible pedestrian crossings and triangular islands between lanes for pedestrians to wait if they choose to cross one direction of traffic at a time. Bicyclists can also easily navigate their way through a roundabout. The inner portion of a roundabout serves as an apron or buffer for large trucks, giving them space to make wide turns. So, let's take a step-by-step -step walk through how to properly navigate a roundabout. As you approach a roundabout, you'll see a yellow roundabout ahead sign. Slow down. Most roundabouts have speed limits of 15 to 25 miles per hour. If the roundabout is a multi-lane roundabout, it is important to think of it like a traditional intersection. Just like a traditional intersection, a motorist chooses which lane to be in before approaching the intersection. You will see a sign showing which lanes to use for each traffic movement. Use either lane to go straight, use the left lane and follow the pavement markings to turn left, and for right turns, use the right lane. Now that you're in the correct lane and your speed has been adjusted, yield to pedestrians and bicyclists in marked crosswalks. If you see someone crossing or about to cross, make a complete stop before the crosswalk to let them pass. When the coast is clear of pedestrians, pull up to the roundabout and look left. Yield to all traffic already in the roundabout. They have the right of way, and it is your job to wait for your turn. When it's your turn, and there are no cars coming through, or the gap between you and the next car is large enough, enter the roundabout. Once you're in the roundabout, do not change lanes. For single lane roundabouts, this will not be an issue. You should never stop in a roundabout. The only time it is permissible to stop in a roundabout is when you are yielding to pedestrians or bicyclists. Once you reach the desired exit point, signal and leave the roundabout. Remember, you're in the roundabout, so as you exit, you hold the right of way. Now that you know what a roundabout is and how to use it, let's take a closer look at how a roundabout improves safety and how it is safer and more efficient than a traditional intersection. Drivers cross paths as they travel through or turn from one route to another. Places where different paths separate, cross, or join are known as conflict points, and these are always present at intersections. Limiting the number of conflict points at an intersection not only reduces the frequency and severity of crashes, but also improves the overall operation and mobility of an intersection. The traditional intersection has 32 conflict points. With all the merging, diverging, and crossing required, a traditional intersection is more prone to the likelihood of crashes and traffic delays. A roundabout reduces these conflict points to eight. By removing right angle conflicts, a roundabout lessens the severity of crashes that occur in this type of intersection. Incidents that do occur in a roundabout are at low speeds and are typically sideswipe glancing collisions. In a roundabout, motorists move in the same direction, greatly reducing the chance of a potential head-on collision. In fact, roundabouts have been shown to reduce the number of fatal and severe injury crashes by 78 to 82 percent. Furthermore, a roundabout uses entry yield control 
rather than traffic signals. Having no signals allows cars to move more efficiently through the intersection. Traffic flows continuously. Drivers don't need to wait for green lights, they just need to yield when there is traffic already in the roundabout. Here you can see a comparison of the efficiency of a roundabout versus a signalized intersection. Drivers in the roundabout get through much quicker as traffic is moving at a consistent rate. Another safety feature of a roundabout is the truck apron for wide turning vehicles. Here's a video showing how an apron can help a truck safely navigate a roundabout. A roundabout reduces traffic delays by about 20%. By eliminating a lot of the waiting that takes place at normal intersections, a roundabout shortens travel times for both drivers and pedestrians. One final tip for roundabout safety and proper navigation is yielding to emergency vehicles. If you have not entered the roundabout, pull over to the right and allow the emergency vehicle to pass. But if you have already entered the roundabout, continue to the closest exit and pull into it to allow the emergency vehicle to pass. There are approximately 20 roundabouts operating on the Florida State Highway System and over 300 roundabouts on Florida's local roads. It's important that as a new driver, you are informed and prepared to navigate these innovative and efficient traffic patterns. For more information on roundabouts, visit fdot.tips roundabout.